Hello everyone and welcome to your monthly tarot scope. Before we begin, I would like to say that if you are interested in having a personal private reading and not just a general reading, please visit my website linked in the description bar below. It is $15 per tarot reading. I would also like to say that I am now offering palm readings, so if you are interested in having your palms read, please visit the website for more details. It will be right below the tarot section. There will be a read more button and if you click that, it will open up the palmistry section. So like I said, if you are interested in those, I will be very happy to fulfill those orders. And now on to your reading. Hello Libra and welcome to your August 2015 tarot reading. Laid before you is your monthly spread. The top card there is your focal card for the month and all these other cards are symbolic for each week of the month. So with your focal card you have the Nine of Cups. What a great card to get. This is your um, you know nothing can go wrong card. This is uh, your celebration card. Uh, what you want will happen card. Uh, so yeah whatever is going on in your life in August it's pretty it's pretty grandiose. Um, you're at least going to feel very happy um, and <laughs> for the majority of the month. Uh, and you might have some cause for celebration. You know, this might mean a, a physical celebration. This could be some kind of event going on. Um, or it could just be a feeling of, you know, I got what I wanted. You know, this is awesome. For the first week of August, you have the Six of Cups. This is you being nostalgic and, you know, reminiscing about your past. Um, this could also mean somebody from your past could be re-entering into your life. Um... And, and causing you to think about your past with them. But, you know, whatever the situation is, I do feel it's positive. You're going to be looking at your past with happy, fond memories. Um, this person in your life is not there to flip it upside down or nothing. It's, you're, you're very happy to see them. Um, and, and, and if you have children in your life, this could also be a card, meaning that, you know, this is a week that you're going to get to spend time with your kids. Um, you know, more than normal. Uh, do something uh, that you normally don't do uh, that, that you can create some good memories. For the second week, you have the Three of Pentacles. This is you working on something. This is you crafting, um, really putting your time and energy into some kind of project or skill that you have. That you, you know, you're pretty proud of this. You feel like this will help you financially, and you're right, it probably will. Um, but this is something, you know, the, the, important, the, the important thing to stress about this card, whatever it is that you're working on, you feel, um, you feel pride over it. This is something that gives you a lot of pride, and you want to show it off to others, and you want them to feel prideful about it also. And the third week, you have the Magician. Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> this is uh, most likely yourself, but it could be somebody else. Um, in your life that is kind of uh, manipulating or using the powers that be to get what they want. And I do feel like this is, this is you, Libra, because whatever it is that you're trying to do um, or trying to get, uh, I, you know, manipulate, it's kind of an ugly word, but it kind of fits the situation. And we all do it. There are times where we all play the magician and we try to pull the strings to get things to go the way we want them. Um, so, you know, whether you're doing it for good intentions or bad intentions, that's, I cannot say that's, that's you know, your thing. But, you know, if it is somebody else, hopefully they have good intentions for your life. But I do feel like it is probably you and that you have good intentions and that it's going to work out the way you want it to because of the Nine of Cups here. For the last week of the month, you have the Seven of Swords. Now, this is some kind of deceit going on. Um, this is somebody, you know, in the picture you see somebody actually stealing something, and they leave two swords behind. So, this could actually be somebody stealing something from you, uh, but it doesn't have to be. This could mean any, any form of deceit. This could be somebody just letting you down, disappointing you. Um, the, you know... Um, not having your back when, when you thought they would. Um, but, you know, this isn't going to be something that you're not going to find out about. 
you know, as it happens, you're going to know that it's happening. You know, this could be somebody lying to you, but you're going to know that they're lying to you. They're going to leave something behind that, that gives it all away. So, um, you know, don't worry about the wool being pulled over your eyes because that isn't going to happen. Um, it's just, it's never fun <laughs> to, to have any kind of deceitful feelings in your life. And, um, and unfortunately, that, that's going to happen for some of you in the last week of August. And hopefully it's not you who's de deceiving somebody else, Libra. I, I don't think it is. Not with the Nine of Cups. And, and whoever it is, I think it's going to be disappointing to you. But I don't think it's going to like ruin your whole month or nothing. Because you got the Nine of Cups. This is like one of the best cards you can get. So, um, you know, even though it's kind of a, neg a negative card, I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I would just be aware of it. And, um, and yeah, it looks like a pretty good month for you, Libra. So that is your reading in its entirety. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I do this every month, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.